When a local woman's nephew was born with a congenital heart defect, she wanted to help other children like him and other families like hers. Something that became even more important when her nephew lost his fight. As I discovered in today's Upside report, she's joined forces with a local school district to send bears, books, and blankets to Boston. Will Rogan was born with a congenital heart defect known as HLHS. The technical term is hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Uh, what it means for everyday purposes is he was born and the left side of his heart didn't function, so he was born with half a heart. His aunt, Courtney Sim of Colony, says Will had his first open heart surgery at Boston Children's Hospital at just three days old. She remembers the heartbreak of seeing so many young children fighting similar battles. We got to do something. Okay, well, there's got to be a way for us to make these families feel like they're not alone. She saw the big smiles little gifts could bring. <laughs> Came up with bears, books, and blankets to Boston and asked friends and total strangers for donations to her special delivery. At the time, I had a Volkswagen Jetta, and we crammed my entire Jetta full of bears, books, and blankets, and we brought them all out on Christmas so all these kids would have Christmas presents. Will's battle came to an end in 2018 when he was two, but Courtney knew there were other sick kids just like him still in those Boston hospital beds. I couldn't let it stop because he wasn't, he was no longer with us. Um, it was very hard to do, but when we get there, the looks on these kids' faces is just, it, it's awesome. Similarly awesome is the connection she's made with the South Colony Central School District. The high school's I Care program has become a huge part of Courtney's annual delivery. We need more of this kind of stuff that um, I feel like a lot of times we need uh, a lot of times that there's a lot of bad things and negative things that happen and though although um, this was a tragic thing that happened we can turn it around and make it positive and help other kids who really need the help. 15-year-old Rachel Wyland helping to lead the charge this year, coordinating donations at the elementary and middle schools. At the elementary schools, I know like um, they all decorated their, uh, each box to put all the items in, and they had decorated them and made them their own. They've already outgrown Courtney's Jetta. Donations have tripled. Now in its fourth year, they're expecting to deliver thousands of little gifts and big smiles. A little bit goes a long way with something like this. Yeah, it certainly does. Now, because donations are going to a hospital, everything has to be new, no used items. But if you'd like to help out, drop-offs are being accepted at Colony Central High School, a number of other places throughout the region. And they're taking them through February 21st. More information at WNYT.com. You know, there's so much conversation about trying to bring us all together. Mm. The teens are doing that right there. You know, wonderful, wonderful project. One of the things project. they said, it brings them together as a school. This right. brings them together as a community. And to put smiles on those kids' faces. Win-win. Well, what a better reason to come together.